was um, because I thought the only books I could read as an adult were books that were written by dead people. That would be awesome, though, if they were actually written by dead people. <laughs> they were alive when they wrote them, and then now they're dead. Anyway, and so it, when, I, when I discovered young adult literature, it was so freeing for me, this wonderful, wonderful category of books. And not everything, obviously, that's written for young adults is going to be right for me or any reader or is wonderful. But, um, but it was so wonderful to read quality, what I felt like was really quality literature that also had story to it and had relatable characters. And then when I found out... This is my, one of my best friends right here, Rebecca Richardson. And she was the one I quoted that wrote a guest blog post about, uh, she's an English teacher. So we've talked a lot about it. I feel actually really silly talking about it because I know I'm not an expert. And then Rebecca says, no, people, you're an author, so people think you are. And I think, oh crap, I'm totally fooling them. <laughs> it's like, I feel like you should be the one to talk about it. But, um, but I, I, think it's, I think it's too bad that we have an idea in, all right, so Derrida said that um, every, whenever there's binary opposites, or there's going to be a hierarchy, that we naturally create a hierarchy. So men, women, and then so people create a hierarchy that men are better than women, or opposite. Adults, children, black, white, night, day, um, old, new. We have this idea that uh, old literature is better than new. Comedy and tragedy, that's a big one for me. Tragedy is always more important, more beneficial to people than comedy. Why? I think that's such a strange idea. You know, even for you know, nonfiction or fiction, or illustrated or not illustrated, these are all really arbitrary designations for literature. Really, what we're looking for is a quality story, and it can be anything. And so, I, I think that's what I try to talk about. Is I think, I think people get the idea that unless it's in a language that's archaic, unless it was written in ancient Greek, that it's actually not good for you. And I hope people open their minds to that. You know that. Maybe they're, because what that's doing is there are a lot of people that can't get through, my brother can't get through that book. And if that's all that's given to him, he's never going to read a book. He's going to grow up as an illiterate person. He's going to have a lot more trouble um, supporting himself and his family in, in a world that's full of the written word. So that's, that's basically it. All right, I could go about it forever. Let's do two more.